girls, my name's Rabbit and I'm going to read you one of my favourite stories today called One Button Benny. I hope you enjoy it. Benny was different. Benny was special. Benny was a robot. Benny had a bright red button in the middle of his tummy. On the button, written in big bold letters, were the words, only press in an emergency. Benny had never pressed his button. He often wondered what would happen if he did. Benny had always known that he wasn't like the other robots. They all had lots of buttons and when they pressed them, they did wonderful things. Some of them played music, some of them made them fly and others even switched on light bulbs. The other robots used to tease Benny, saying, here comes one button, Benny. Come on, Benny, press your button. Let's see what it does. I bet it doesn't do anything. Does it even work? It didn't help that Benny's mum made him wear a vest when it got cold outside. Every time the other robots pressed their buttons, they would show off saying, look what I can do, Benny. I bet you can't do this. Poor Benny. Benny often wished there was an emergency so he could press his big red button. Is this an emergency? He said when he broke the glass. Or this when he, the biscuit tin was empty? Or what, what about this when the TV stopped working? One morning, Benny woke up. It seemed just like any other morning. He had his breakfast, brushed his teeth, got to keep those teeth clean, looked in the mirror, oh, what a handsome looking robot, he said, at his big, bright red button and wondered what would happen if he pressed it. But this morning, there was something different. There was something wrong. Outside in the street, everyone was zipping and zooming around in a panic, shouting, Oh dear, what will we do? The collectors are here! The collectors are here! Benny had heard stories about the collectors, scary stories that kept him awake at night and made him hide under her blanket. The collectors were small, hairy, scary aliens with green bottoms who travelled through space looking for bright, shiny metal. They would gather it all up, throw it into their gigantic crushing machine and turn it into teapots. The collectors had arrived in the night when everyone was sleeping and taken over Benny's planet. <gasps> All the robots were crying as the collectors took them down the main street towards the spaceship and their gigantic crushing machine. Benny looked at his mum and he said... Mum? Mum? I don't want to be a teapot. What are we going to do? Is this an emergency? Yes, Benny, this is an emergency. Quick, press your button. You are the only one who can save us now. Benny placed his finger over the big red button on his tummy. He closed his eyes and pressed his button. But nothing happened. Then 
all of a sudden, zing, zang, then a very loud boom. Benny went zooming into the sky faster than the fastest rocket, flying higher and higher up into space. He pressed his button again and bright blue laser beams came shooting out of his fingers and from the toes in his boots, zapping the collectors from behind and turning the bottoms bright red. Benny pressed his button a third time and there was a brilliant flash of light that stretched across the old sky. It confused the collector so much that they all ran around, bumping into each other. They were so scared of Benny and what he could do that they ran as fast as they could into their spaceship and flew away, never to return. All of the robots just stood and stared at Benny in amazement. Then together they started jumping up and down, smiling and cheering. Zing zang zoom, Benny touched the moon. Zing zang zoom, his button goes boom. Zing zang zoom, Benny is the best. Later that night, Benny was still amazed at what had happened. When he pressed his big bright red button and his mum was tucking him up in bed, Benny asked her, Do you think I will ever get to press my button again, mum? I hope that you never have to press your button again, Benny. With that, she gave Benny a beautiful good night kiss. Mwah! Turned out the lights. And before you could say zing zang zoom, Benny was fast asleep. I hope you enjoyed that story. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you?